Are you scared of fear? It's a nice question. Indeed, fear is also an emotion as anger, love, hate, compassion. Emotions are a gift to mankind. They are beautiful clouds of energy, which can be a fuel to our evolution. Nature has infused us with beautiful emotions, but unfortunately, we chose to describe a negative story for most of our emotions. Why run away from something that is scary? Why not change the story behind it? After all, we all are a bundle of stories. It is a misconceived belief that fear is always harmful for the health. When transformed properly, it can be a blessing in disguise too. How can you do so? This is the question. Let's first understand the story of fear. Fear, if you evaluate deeply, is simply the stimulus that is propelling us to move forward, to take action, lest we get stuck in our present situations and conditions. There is fear of death, fear of failure, fear of certain eventualities, and even fear of success. There is, as we know, a darker and a lighter side to each emotion, and to use it for our growth, we need to tap the lighter or the positive side. We have to magnify it in many folds, nurture it regularly, take advantage of it and ultimately transform the emotions into a useful state. There wouldn't be a need to run away or push away that emotion but accept it completely. The reason is that even today a portion of our mind is inherited from the primitive man that has remained as it is even in the face of all the changing realities of the planet. A main feature of the primitive response system to the crisis is fight or flight. If you see a lion, run for your life. And who is lion now? It may be the boss, dominating people around, or a responsibility. In almost all stressful or crisis situation, the person will either choose to fight or to run away, depending on their capacity, preparedness, and available resources. They take actions. They respond to the situation. At any moment of perceived threat, the body will go into an emergency mode and all the energy will be directed towards fight or flight. Let me put it forward in that way. The ultimate fear is the fear of death. And question is that, how can it be advantageous? But you know what? It is the reason that most people take care of their health. It is the reason that they go to gym, they do exercise, they maintain discipline, spend millions on hiring fitness consultants and eat healthy food. Fear is there to tell us that something needs to be fixed. It is a sign that we are in need of certain skills to grow further in our goals and vision. Where there is fear, that is bullseye which needs to be targeted. Imagine butterflies that flutter in your stomach if there is a fear before a presentation. It simply implies there is more thorough and clear preparation to be done to hone our skills from all angles so that the confidence increases. Similarly, when there is fear, there is heavier breathing. The lungs function harder and the heart pumps more blood. There is more oxygen inside the heart, which in fact cleans the chalked up cholesterol and arteries and can stabilize a person suffering from heart disease. There is research in esteemed institutions like Harvard to prove it. It is not the fear, but the belief that fear is bad is killing us. Funny, right? Suppose the dictionary did not have the word fear, but instead something positive to describe it. 
you would experience a more positive state with that emotion. Here we are not discussing phobia as opposed from fear. It is something that may need professional intervention as it is a psychological condition which there is an extreme distortion of reality. Let we come back to the fear. There is a need to identify the fears and inhibitions which stop us from playing our game. When tackled properly, it is the reason to improve our confidence at the highest level without depending on chance. So there is no harm to be friend with the fear and use it for the better. At least try sometimes.